Hello Tikis. In this tutorial, we will learn how to work with parse test. First of all, we'll see what is parse test. By using parse test, we can analyze the text and find the first occurrence or all occurrence of a specified subtext or regular expressions pattern. Let me show you with a simple example over here. If you see on my screen, I'm having a text file which is having all the tutorials related to the Power Automate desktop. If you see, I'm having the links as well as the description of the video. All right. If you see over here, in this text file, I'm having words with the Microsoft, Power Automate, and the desktop. If I want to know the first occurrence of the Microsoft, or else I want to know the all the occurrence of the Microsoft in the entire text file. How can I go ahead and let the know all the occurrences of the first occurrence of the Microsoft? That is, we can know by using parse test, we can easily get the position as well as the number of occurrences over there or the matches by using parse test. Let me show you how to work with parse test by using Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. First of all, to read the text from the text file, what I will do, I will use read text from file. Let me drag and drop this read text from file onto the workspace. Now I'm going to give the file path where I'm having that file to read. In my learning test actions folder, I'm having Power Automate Desktop. Let me select that. Over here, if you see store content as, I'm going to give it as a single text value. Over here, the values produced, I'm going to give the name as Power Text File. All right, let me click on Save. Now, in this text file, I want to know the occurrences of the Microsoft. So that what I will do, I will use parse text. Let me drag and drop this parse text onto the workspace. First of all, we'll see the parameters. Text to parse, this is nothing but which text we want to analyze. As we have seen, we have already read a file by using read text from file and we have stored the output in the power text file. That is the same text we want to analyze it, right? That I'm going to select that. And after that, in this text file, I want to find some value. Right? What is the value that I want to identify or analyze in the text to parse? That is, I will say Microsoft. Microsoft is the word which I want to analyze and I want to find all the occurrences or the first occurrences. All right. Whatever the text you have given, is this the regular expression or not? If it is the regular expression, then I will use this option over here. But as of now, this Microsoft is the word is not a regular experience. So that I will disable this. And after that, you can see start parsing at position. Okay, that is the main nothing but from where you need to start the position. It's a starting from zero position or hundredth position that you want to parse the text. I will say starting from zero is the position that I want to parse it out. Okay, over here, if you see the first occurrences only, Nothing but on my entire text, I'm having n number of occurrences for the Microsoft. All right. You want to find it out only the first occurrence or the entire occurrences in the text file. Now, if you see, whenever you are going to select this first occurrence, it will show you only the first occurrence it will. And after that, it won't show you the remaining occurrences over there in the particular test. I will show you with this example over here. All right. Now, ignore cases, nothing but if you see over here in the Microsoft text that I have given M as an up, upper case, it will match us with the same case and then it will ignore if you are having any kind of lower cases or title cases if you have. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to ignore the cases over here. All right. Now, if you see the position is the output whenever you're going to be using this kind of text, but if you see, if I'm going to enable the is regular expression that you will get matches also. I will let you know this one about this. First of all, we'll go with the position. Nothing but with the Microsoft, how many occurrences that we had and where exactly the position is. All right, let me click on save. To know the flow has been executed successfully or not, what I will do, I will display a message over here. 
I will give the title as pass text. And after that, the display message, I will say flow executed successfully. Flow executed. Let's click on save. Now, by using this parse test, what I will get, we'll get the positions of the Microsoft, the word Microsoft that we'll get it. All right, to know the output, let's run the flow. Flow execution started. Flow has ex been executed successfully. Now, if you see on my right hand side, I'm having flow variables with the output, right? You can see in the power text file, I'm having the entire text which we have read it by using red text file, right? And also, if you see the position over here, the Microsoft position started itself at the zero. Let me show you the output. You can see the Microsoft has been started with a zero position. Now, if you see in my past that, that I have given as only the first occurrence I have given. All right. So that's the reason it is showing the position as zero. And then the remaining positions, it is not showing over there. All right. Let me click on OK. Now I will make the small change over here. I will make not only the first occurrence, I want the occurrence in the remaining positions also. Let me click on save. Let's run the flow to see the output once again. Flow execution started. And you can see once again, the positions you can see 0, 61, 3836 and so on. You are having a lot of text that is subtext that you are having with the word Microsoft. Let me show you that. Now you can see over here, Microsoft, right? And there is a the lot of things in the Microsoft over here. That's the reason it is giving the positions over here, 0, 61, and so on. All right, let me click on OK. All right, now what I want to know, I want to know the numeric values which we have in the particular text. Let me show you one more time. If you see over here, I'm having the numeric value 2, module 1, chapter 1, chapter 2, and a lot of things, a lot of locations that I'm having numeric values. But I want, irrespective of the numeric value, that I want to find all the numeric values over there. How can I go ahead and do that? There, I will use regular expression. I'm going to just giving slash D. This is what it means. It will get fetch all the numeric values over here in my text. Is regular expression is true? Yes, the particular value which we have given is a regular expression. So that I'm going to enable this value. And after that, if you see starting position, what I will do, I will make from 100. So what are the values we are having before 100? It won't show you. We can find it out in the positions. And also, you will get the matches over here, the exact match of the value that we will get it. All right, let me click on save and let's run the flow. Flow execution started and flow also has been executed successfully. And you can see the positions over here. I'm having 127, 176, 273. Because of, if you see, the module one has been started at the position of 127. And after that, module two, the numeric value has been given at the 176. So whatever you have before 100, it won't show you over here. And if you can see the exact matches over here, you can see 7, 1, 2, and all the values. You can see 7 is here. This is the 7, and 1, module 1, and 2, module 2, and so on. It's all the matches. It will show you each and everything in the matches. All right? Let me click on OK. Now, I will show you one more example over here. OK? I will take the power over here. If you observe in the text to find, I'm having lower case. Now, if you observe in my power automate that I'm having starts with upper case value. P starts with upper case, right? Irrespective of the case, I want to ignore that or else I want to, I want to ignore the cases. True. In that case, irrespective of the case sensitive, it will find all the matches. Let me click on save. Let's run the flow. If you see over here, the matches, what are the matches it has been found? It is showing as power, power, power in the matches. And if you see the positions, 134, 298, 277, because of the position has been starting from 100. That's the reason it is showing 100 plus the whatever the position that you have 
after 100 plus it is showing all the matches and the positions over here in the particular text by using parse test test action i hope you understand how to work with parse test as part of this tutorial thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.